Okay, thanks for sticking with me. So now it's gonna be your turn to get your assignment and do it. And I'm gonna give that assignment to you really quickly now. First, we're gonna review. What I want you to do is come up with at least three or four different variations of rhythms that you're gonna create, right? Just the rhythm. So you're gonna make your, your stream of 16 notes, and then you're gonna circle some of them. You can make some of them rests if you want and leave some uncircled, and that's gonna give you your rhythm. Then you can turn that rhythm into its um, simpler form, right? So in other words, if you have a tie of four eighth notes, you could turn that into a half note, and you write the half note. Maybe you put it on a staff. Um, or no, you just you can just write it. You can just write it here. So half note. I'm sorry. This would be quarter eighth 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 quarter. So what I did was I took this down here, da 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 da, da and I wrote it in a simpler form, quarter eighth 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 quarter. So you could write it like that if you like. Or you could combine this with the next step, which is to assign notes from the G major scale randomly to each of these rhythms and then put them down here. So this would be quarter, eighth, 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 quarter, eighth, 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 eighth half. That's what I'd like for you to do. Just write out four phrases like that. That's the assignment. And then I want you to play them with the backing track. What I'm gonna do now is leave this backing track. I want you to play those four lines and just hear how they sound. You don't need to judge them, but if you wanna go back after you hear how they sound and you wanna change a note, you can. If you wanna change a rhythm, you can. And then after that, I just want you to just improvise. Improvise over the backing track. Improvise over the, riv over the river. And you could submit that um, all of this work or any of this work to your teacher to get credit or you can just enjoy it for yourself because this is about developing you as a full musician. The technical side, the improvisational, the expressive side, the theoretical side. Um, now again, if you don't have a teacher or if you are a teacher and you'd like help in a more personalized way for me or like to get my personal review of your work and have a lesson with me and that sort of thing, uh, check the link below and join up in my private online studio, Creative Strings Academy. Currently, I'm offering it for 30 days free. You'll even get a free private lesson with me. Also, again, make sure to check the um, free playlist on this YouTube channel where I'm offering new videos every day. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in another lesson soon. And I hope you'll comment and let me know what you think. And in the meantime, I'm going to let this roll for the next two minutes um, so that you've got this backing track to do whatever you want with. And uh, I hope to see you in another lesson soon.